some of the key lessons for um, commercial crew that I took out of commercial cargo, I've already talked a little bit about. I mean, I think it's it's critical that your that the customer from both the International Space Station standpoint and the industry standpoint is involved in the development of the requirements and the strategies for um, not only defining the capability and the service needed, but also helpful in understanding the construct of the implementation. And so um, actually the original set of commercial crew requirements, I had, I had been on the team that developed the initial set of commercial crew requirements because um, we learned from working through the 50808 development process that from a station perspective, we really wanted to adopt the same methodology of consolidating down, you know, um, we call it like our commercial crew Bible, you know, that there's this, this same kind of philosophy where instead of us having that, that interleaving requirement set, that we get a core set of requirements that the providers can point to and be able to pull on, and it's all defined in that book. And so when we were building the commercial crew requirements set, we used the SSP 50808 philosophy and then developed a, a set of requirements that um, really, when you go and buy a commercial crew vehicle in a seat, you're going to use SSP 50808, which is this vehicle is going to go up and, and dock with station, and so this is a set of requirements you need to go do. And then there's a CCT 1130, which is the free flight requirement set, and it's those two books that then define the requirements set for um, a commercial crew vehicle that's flying to the International Space Station. And the users and both the commercial companies all were vested in the process and the development of those requirements from the very beginning. Um, we, we understood how valuable that industry involvement was for developing the 50808 requirements. So we specifically adopted the same strategy and encouraged industry input into the requirement sets and had them out there and had several RFIs, um, enabled um, the industry partners to be able to comment to the requirement sets, worked with them through um, different agreements and um, to ensure that they were able to impact and provide comments to the requirements set. And then we did a special, um, this, the certifications product contract where we were able to then get specific feedback with three industry partners, Sierra Nevada, Boeing, and SpaceX on different aspects of the requirements and the verification language and were able to get their direct feedback and, and how they would approach meeting those requirements. And so that also helped us kind of get feedback into, oh, well, that, that wasn't exactly how I wanted to have that requirement written or they are kind of interpreting that requirement in a different way. So that was, that was a direct lessons learned from the cargo demonstrations um, that we applied to the crew um, program. The other thing we learned um, on uh, implementing like with the, crew, the cargo services that was provided to the, the commercial crew program was how important understanding how we we're going to procure services um, getting that input from the providers on what are the key aspects of the contract that would then um, work certification and ultimately then the um, crew rotation services um, was really critical. And, and getting the industry to input all along the way on the aspects of the contract structure and the key um, uh, requirement sets and construct of the contract was really, really important too. So I, I can't, over and over, I can't emphasize this. You know, you it's really through this partnership and the communication and the interface that we really understand how to create the relationships between the government and the industry partners in a way that enables them to innovate, that enables them to come up and develop new strategies 
that gives them the flexibility to come up with the most cost-effective and safe solutions for the capabilities that we need.